For safety guidelines, I'm going to suggest contact your local fire department because each area they have different procedures. Some areas you contact the fire department directly every hour, whereas other areas do you just write hourly report and that is handed to the management or fire department. I am here to inspect on my fire watch officers and uh, I decided to go with uh, some duties the officer must perform while conducting fire watch. Fire watch is implemented to ensure fire safety of buildings or area in the event of any act like an increased risk to persons or property. A fire watch officer's sole responsibility is to look for fire within an established area. Establishment can assign one or more persons to conduct fire watch. Fire watch is required by the fire department in situations like fire, sprinkling system not working, or in situations where building or establishment is not meeting fire codes. Corporations, insurance companies, and businesses also require fire watch officer service in the event of temporary failure of an alarm system or where activities require the interruption of any fire detection. Fire watch is required from case to case basis on extent of the interruption, building use, number of expected occupants, and extended outage time of the interruption as determined by the fire department or property management personnel. You know, during winter, while conducting fire watch, make sure always check the boiler and sprinkler rooms because what happens is sometimes due to low temperature the pipes they get busted and what happens is that the water it comes out and uh, because of the busted pipes so one must keep an eye on the sprinkler and boiler room area during winter to make sure no water is coming underneath the doors of the boiler or sprinkler room area. If the pipes, they are busted, then the fire watch officer, he need to know the valves, which valve to turn off in case the water is leaking. Officers are not permitted any other duties except fire watch. Officers must be familiar with the procedures in the event of a fire. Officer must know how to use fire extinguishers. Officer must keep in mind to use alternative route if they notice smoke. Officers must not allow anyone to use elevators. A fire can disrupt the operation of elevators and trap occupants. Officer must know how to test doors with the back of their hand. Before opening the door, they must know if the door is warm or smoke observed and then use an alternative escape route to drag people to the safe area, which is exterior area of the building. Officer must be trained to meet emergency response personnel at safety location and drag them to the scene in case of fire. Must be trained to conduct fire watch duties and must be aware to stop, drop, and roll if someone's clothing catches fire.
Officer must not allow anyone to re-enter building unless instructed to do so by the fire department. If officers suspect that someone is trapped or missing, contact firefighters on scene. Mostly fire watch officers report to work within one to two hours when they receive the call. Officer must maintain the condition and requirement stated on the safety permit provided by the fire marshal. Officers are required to write hourly fire watch report for the management and fire department. In the event of fire, officers sound alarm and call 911. Hourly reports must contain officer's name, facility name, address, number of buildings, and floors, etc. Fire watch officer must be familiar with the layout of the area, fire hazards, and must keep flammable material from ignition sources. Officer must maintain the conditions and requirements. Officer must have important numbers handy and must not leave the area unless the system fixed and inspected by the fire marshal and management notifies us to leave. For safety guidelines, I'm going to suggest contact the local fire department.